All right, Jeremy, thank you much. Now we take you to North Carolina to get a look at the impact of the storm along the Outer Banks. That's right. Let's get right to our Erin Kelly. She's been in Nags Head all morning, specifically right next to Jeanette's Pier. And Erin, how are things now? Well, it's still uh, we're still seeing some wind gusts out here. Certainly, it's um, it's pretty strong ar around the sides of the buildings, but it's not stopping people from coming out to the beach. Actually, uh, well, first of all, take a look at the surf behind me. This is what we've been looking at all morning. It's uh, really been coming in strong here, driven in by that wind and, and going into the pier. It's not as strong as it was before, but it certainly is uh, coming in here. Now, down at the end of the beach here, we've seen people walking along. And uh, some other people have come out, you know, early in the morning when it was blowing 90 miles per hour out here, we saw people coming out. It was difficult to walk. It was difficult to take a few steps away from a building. But it looks like people with the daylight have wanted to come out and check it out, see how things are out here. We haven't seen any real damage from where we stand at Jeanette's Pier. Um, but certainly we'll be going around this area to see what we what we find um, now that the the daylight is upon us. And we know that Dare County officials are also going to be doing that. They're going to go around and check out uh, any damage. We saw a little bit of flooding on the roads earlier this morning, um, but we hadn't seen anything impassable right here where we are by Jeanette's Pier. But we're certainly going to take a look at that. We'll send it back to you from Nags Head.